चैप्टर थर्ड वर्क पावर एंड एनर्जी वर्क पावर एंड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव टू डिस्कस बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ द वर्क एंड वी हैव टू डिराइव द फॉर्मूला ऑफ द वर्क दैट इज टू बी वर्क फॉर्मूला फॉर द वर्क इज फोर्स इन टू डिस्प्लेसमेंट इन डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्स in the direction of force this is the work this is work is equal to f or s in the previous lecture we have to see that unit of newton into meter That is equal to two. One newton into meter. That is to be one joule. Now, how we can define the one joule work? How we can define the one joule? One joule. How we can define the one? W is equal to F or S. If the quantity of the force is to be one newton, which is to be, and displacement of the particle is one meter, it means the definition says that when a one newton force is acting on the object, and the displacement along with the direction of the force is to be one meter, then the amount of work that is to be 1 joule then we have to define here then 1 newton force when 1 newton force is acting on object is acting on object the displacement along the direction of force along with the direction of force is one meter then Force when work is one newton one joule. The amount of work that is to be performed by this process when a unit quantity of force that is to be acting on the object, if we move the one meter distance by the application of one newton force in the direction of force. the amount that is to be work the amount of work that is to be created in this process that is to be known as one joule work this is the <coughs> definition we have and here we see that work is the scalar quantity it means work does not require any direction it only required magnitude hence we see that work is a scalar quantity because work is scalar quantities because for the defining of work only magnitude is to be required there is a no expectations of the directions that is to be created it means we can see the work is a scalar quantities 
because what is the scalar quantities scalar quantities are those quantities which does not require any directions which only require the magnitude and hence we can say that work is a scalar quantities so we have to remember this fact work <coughs> is a scalar quantities now the second point we have to remember for the work is the si unit of the work is newton into meter and newton into meter is also what is so we have to remember the si unit of the work is to be joule and after we have to see that defining the definition of the one joule work so we have to see that when a one newton force is applicable on the objects for distances of 1 meter along the direction of the forces then the amount of work that is produced by the object that is known as one joule 